Happy Holidays. I'm Chancellor Richard Telfer. At UW-Whitewater, we believe in the power of education to change lives. Whether it be in the classroom, on the playing field, or in the residence hall, each of us has the ability to make a difference. At UW-Whitewater, I know this to be true, and I see it each day as I go around the campus. I would like to share with you now a compelling story about how the lives of several of our students were changed dramatically this summer. For the first time, three UW-Whitewater science students in wheelchairs traveled to Yellowstone National Park for a two-week field study program. Coming this far from home to a whole new environment, a whole new everything is very scary. Probably my number one concern was just like day-to-day -day living, like making sure I'm taken care of and... No, I wasn't concerned at all. I was really excited. Had the countdown going on the laptop. I was, I was just super stoked. Look at him. He's checking out his visitors. <laughs> Just doing a little jig down the middle of the road, no biggie. What do you think? Do you think that's absorca volcanics or do you think that's sedimentary rock? Or things volcanic. Well, it is. We drive so that the students get to see the change in climate. Uh, they're not flying out here, they're not tourists. It's a field course that shows them the basics of field work in a lot of different areas. It's sort of a smorgasbord. This is a pine because it's got clump needles. We do vegetation analysis. You know, they're doing things and they're, they're out there in the field, but this is the kind of stuff that you can learn because you're seeing it. Being in a classroom and reading a textbook, you get the information, but you don't get to be able to learn it while you're looking at it. You don't just memorize the name of a tree and what's characteristics are. You see it, you feel it. It's been awesome working with George. He's a good teacher. He works really hard to make sure we can all participate in at least some aspects of it. My job is to teach students, and they're just another group of students as far as I'm concerned. And I didn't know anything about this, you know, I, you know, I didn't know that the doorways have to be so wide to get wheelchairs through, or I didn't know you have to have certain things to, to do all this, you know, and the Center for Students with Disabilities, those are the ones that said, well, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, and this and that, the other thing. I had a little bit of training about a few things. All in all, they were the ones that put it together, and, you know, without them, this wouldn't have happened. Don't go higher. Yeah! Don't go higher yet. Wow! <laughs> it is just beautiful. We don't have privileged kids there. We have, we have, you know, salt of the earth kids. And maybe they've never seen this. So this is a good chance to show them it. Well, they're the kind of students that are going to push me to make them do the most that they can do. And we have Lauren helping and George and I. Maybe Cal. We could have him helping too. I thought they were insane, but they were like, we're gonna go down this hill. I was like, that's a cliff, George. I was like, yeah, right, okay. Oh, okay, sure, we'll go down there, all right. Like, I'm pretty brave, but even that looks like, like a cliff, basically. So I had to like basically give all my trust to George and trust in him that he would lead me down the right path. Wow. It took like a lot of the bumps out. I mean, I was still bouncing every which way, but it wasn't nearly as bad as it probably would have been. And we had one mat, drive on, move it, go to the front, drive on, go to the front, on and on and on, until we got to hard enough ground for my wheels to drive on. Terrifying, but exhilarating. Damn few people ever seen a wolf, and fewer yet have tracked a wolf. And right where you are, there was a wolf. And then we actually found the tracks of the wolf, and then it was all worth it after that, putting the plaster in and getting the mold. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. Oh, so well, look what's coming out. It was really cool to see once you cleaned it off, the paw print, and it was like a piece of history that you always had. The feeling like, overwhelmed me for a while. I teared up a little, just the fact that I had accomplished something to that extent. I didn't think that was possible, but it happened, so no, I think we could pretty much do anything now. 
I think this trip really pushed my limits and showed how many things I can actually do. If there's a way to make a place accessible, you should do it because they're no different than a walking person. They want to see the same things and it should be normal to see three wheelchairs drive through Yellowstone. This is just one of the many stories that illustrates our ability to change the lives of our students. We are grateful for the opportunity to touch the lives of others. From our campus to you, we, we wish, wish you all, all the best, best this holiday, holiday season, season and, and a, a wonderful, wonderful 2012. 2012.